a level of automation that we didn't need in the past. It can be human automation or machine automation, but you need more of it. And that leads to all of it to excessive cost. So let's talk about cost. Cost is a key issue. Now, most end users I talk to say, it's all about cost per terabyte, right? Well, that's not true. It's not even close. It's a factor, but not the not even close to the whole cost. So when you look at it, you have two aspects of cost. You have the debits and you have the credits. And then most people are familiar with the debits, but not the credits. Well, let's talk about the debits for a moment. You have the price, you have the premium maintenance, because most people, if you have important mission critical or business critical storage, you can't afford to be uh, just nine to five during the workday. It's seven by 24, 365 days a year. So you have premium maintenance or subscription, and you have the rack units, which is allocated overhead. You have power, you have cooling, you have cables, you have transceivers, you have conduit, you have personnel, you have the training, the tech refresh. I can keep going. There's a lot of aspects to this. But then there are the credits. That's the relative productivity gains I talked about earlier, depending on the gains in application response times from the storage. Then you have the time to insights, time to action, time to market, the time to unique revenues, time to unique profits. Those are your credits. That's a relative score versus other vendors or what you're doing today. To solve these problems, the best way to solve them is with scale out storage, scale out block storage. You know, 